one of the main factors that brought about the green revolution in India was the use of artificial fertilizers. The Indian fertilizer industry produces nitrogenous fertilizers like urea, phosphatic fertilizers like diammonium phosphate, and other complex fertilizers that are combinations of nitrogen, phosphate, and potash. Potash is the name given to potassium carbonate and several other salts that contain potassium. It is important for the growth of plants. However, India does not have any usable mineral reserves of potash. Thus, the Indian fertilizer industry imports all the potash it requires. At present, there are 57 fertilizer manufacturing units in India that produce several nitrogenous and complex fertilizers. Besides, there are 29 units dedicated to the production of urea, 9 for ammonium phosphate and around 68 smaller units to produce single superphosphates. There are 10 public sector companies producing fertilizers and one cooperative sector unit at Hazira in Gujarat that is run by the Fertilizer Corporation of India Limited. The states of Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab and Kerala produce nearly 50% of the total fertilizer production in India. The other fertilizer producing states are Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, Rajasthan, Bihar, Maharashtra, Assam, West Bengal, Goa, Delhi, Madhya Pradesh and Karnataka. Here are some of the most famous skyscrapers of the world. They have different architectural designs. But one material that was extensively used in the construction of all these buildings is cement. Cement is an essential material for all kinds of construction, be it a home, office, road, bridge or dam. The start of the cement industry in India dates back to 1904, when the first cement plant was set up in Chennai. In 1989, the government introduced several policy reforms, like decontrol of cement pricing and distribution. This led to a rapid growth and expansion in the cement industry. India has 140 large cement manufacturing plants and around 300 smaller plants that manufacture cement of different varieties. Besides a large domestic demand, the Indian cement industry exports cement to countries in East Asia, the Middle East, Africa and South Asia. The cement industry uses heavy raw materials like limestone, silica, alumina and gypsum in bulk quantities. It also requires large quantities of coal, electricity and a good railways and port transportation to meet nationwide and export demands. Thus, most cement plants are located near limestone quarries. The main cement producing states in India are Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Maharashtra. Smaller plants 
are distributed over more states in the country. How do you come to school every day? If your home is not within walking distance, you must be using some means of transport like cycle, scooter, motorcycle, car, bus or a three-wheeler. India has a large automobile industry that produces passenger and goods transport vehicles. The Indian automobile industry has seen tremendous growth in the last 15 years. Market liberalization, the entry of new manufacturers and models, an increase in domestic and export demand, foreign direct investment and the introduction of latest technology are the main factors that have contributed to this growth. At present, there are 15 manufacturers of passenger cars and multi-utility vehicles. Nine manufacturers of commercial vehicles and 14 manufacturers of two and three wheelers in India. The main production centers of the Indian automobile industry are Delhi, Gurgaon, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, Pune, Lucknow, Indore, Hyderabad, Bangalore and Jamshedpur. India has seen a telecommunication revolution. Today, you can pick up a phone and talk to anybody anywhere around the world. You can buy and sell things through computers, over the internet, facilities like computerized reservations and ATMs have made our lives so easy. All these are products of the information technology and electronics industry. The electronics industry is engaged in manufacturing electronic gadgets and appliances like radio sets, music players, computers, televisions, satellite dishes and mobile phones, to name just a few. Bangalore is the major center for the production of electronic goods. Other main production areas of the electronics industry are Delhi, Chennai, Pune, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Lucknow, and Coimbatore. The computer software and hardware industry and the services enabled through computerization together form the information technology or IT industry. This teaching module is also a product of information technology. The key feature of the IT industry is the employment opportunities it has generated. By 2005, there were around 1 million IT workers in India. The most encouraging aspect is that around 30% of IT employees are women. The IT industry is also an important foreign exchange earner through its software development and business process outsourcing services. There are countless big and small companies that operate in the information technology industry. To promote the IT industry, the Government of India has set up 18 software technology parks in different cities of India. These software technology parks provide all infrastructure and high data communication services to the companies operating from there. 